Good morning, everyone. Thanks for joining us for North Dakota Today. It is finally Friday. Oh. My confusion all week about what day it was. Friday couldn't get here soon enough. Uh, but of course, uh, we're all a little giddy <clears throat> heading into, can we call this the eve of Super Bowl weekend? Absolutely, we can. This is going to be a free-for-all Friday today, so just kind of grab the reins and hang on because we all have no idea what's going to happen in today's show, do we? <laughs> I, like, I like it when, when <laughs> it's like I that. It's just like, who knows what's going to go on because it is... A blissful Friday. We're going, we might see 40 degrees this weekend. Sunday is going to be, like, hot. I'm talking, it's funny, Lisa Green on the Valley today hot. this morning, just to be kind of, like, you know, messing with people. She did a pool forecast. She's like, you're going to feel oh, like it. That. And we're like, we're going to be wearing shorts and flip-flops. I mean, yeah, 40. Don't you want to grab one of those silver things this weekend and just, like, sit outside? And just, I'm going to oh. come back with a tan on Monday. <laughs> I'll be out there like this. <laughs> if you do, I will be so impressed. But it's going to be awesome for sure. And so I was—I'm still working on my menu for Super Bowl. I've been—we're not even having a party. Most of my family is going to be out of town. So um, now I'm thinking we need to grill, maybe because it's going to be 40 on Sunday. It's like a grilling day, right? And a pool party. Okay, I'm—I'm I'm, I'm cool with that. You, you guys have a, like have like a nice hot whirlpool out on your deck, and Gosh, then you grill. I wish. And... Doesn't that sound nice? Oh, that would coming be up awesome. on the show, we do have some great ideas uh, that. You know, what we're going to have wings and rings in, talking about some great, they have uh, great ideas for Super Bowl parties. And we have NDSU dining and catering back in, too. And if only you could smell what's going on here. And, uh, oh, yeah, by the way, what else is uh, going on today? Or, I mean, on Sunday? Ooh, look at these goodies. Uh, we're going to talk about the football game, of course. Uh, have you decided who you're going to cheer for yet, Chris, the 49ers? Um, I don't know yet, actually. I, mean, I, I love Patrick Mahomes a bunch just because he's so fun to watch. But... Uh, I used to used to actually play with John Lynch, the GM of the 49ers. So I got a sweet spot for him. So I just want to see a good football game. Okay. And so, like I said, we are talking only a little bit about the actual game and more about the actual party, <laughs> the food. <laughs> so we have NDSU Dining and Catering with us. We have Tara Furkenhoff and Paula uh, Schneider here with us as well. And we're talking about... Now, this is, we don't even just call it a cheese and meat tray. You're mm -mm. calling it what? A charcuterie board. That sounds very, <laughs> that sounds very fancy. Yes, doesn't that sound fancy? And can what you, it means is meat and meat cheese tray. tray. Can you say that one yep. more time, please? Charcuterie board. Charcuterie board. Charcuterie. Yeah. That is fantastic. <laughs> uh, talking about presentation, I just think that this looks beautiful. One of those. Isn't uh, this beautiful? You don't Isn't have to do a centerpiece. It's art, and you don't have to do a centerpiece. It's kind of sad when people start picking at it, so right? Don't eat my centerpiece. I know, right. it's beautiful. And we even have pictures, because NDSU Catering does this all the time, and especially for Bison football events. Charcuterie boards are kind of the it thing. Look at that. It's that's wow. at President Bruchani's house. Isn't that beautiful? Yeah. The catering Paula leads our catering team and they are just geniuses because they're food scientists and they're artists all at the same time. So they just do a great job. And we've got two boards here we're going to show you today. We've got a board on a budget mm -hmm. oh. and we've got a board here that's going to kind of class things up and impress your friends a little bit. Okay, so before we get into the uh, big show, yeah. uh, and uh, is Paula, Paula, you're grabbing some more things yep. for the board on I'm going to put it on this one. Okay, so okay. I'm going to switch about that. One. Okay, well, let, let's start then with the board on a budget. Absolutely. Because we're all kind of on a budget. So what do you call we're a board? Is like a chartreuse and you have to stop at that, the chartreuse? Yeah, that's a good point. That's a good point. It's just a <laughs> char board. Char so this <laughs> is this is 10 minutes, $20, done. And it's kid-friendly. It's cute, but it's wow. kid-friendly, right? You can bring this and everyone's going to love it. So this is really super easy. You just got your basic meats, right? So you're not doing the prosciutto. Prosciutto. <laughs> prosciutto, but you got your pepperoni, you got your salami, you could do summer sausage on here. You got your, just your normal yeah. cheeses that you have in your fridge, right? So you got your cheddar, your pepper jack, your Swiss, basic olives that you have yeah. in your cupboards right now. Um, but then you kind of fancy it up. You grab that fresh component, maybe some parsley, a little bit of lettuce, throw some fruit on there, basic crackers. You guys, you pretty much have this in your house right now. That's super true. easy, super budget friendly. Everyone's going to eat off of it. And then because with the folding, the different cuts, you know, get some height in there, it's pretty. It is really pretty. And yeah. 20 bucks? Are you serious? That's 20 about bucks. 20 bucks. Yeah, absolutely. Isn't that fun? Your beer budget's bigger than that. <laughs> yeah, so. well, it should be. It's Super Bowl weekend. Spend it on that and just not on beer. I mean, just hanging out with you guys, don't you feel like we should have like a glass of Bordeaux sitting yes. right here, Bordeaux? I feel no, no matter what I'm speaking about, can I feel like I should have a glass of that. I've staring at this. Oh I have no gosh. idea what it is, but I love... Okay, can you Paula. Lift that? Paula, we're moving Can somebody lift that up? Oh, yes. Yeah, what is that? 
This is a brie and croat. Mm. Can you so lift it up? And because it's beautiful, and I'm like, I don't know if I should so eat it or just pretty. admire it. Mm -hmm. Or <laughs> so what is so that? it's wrapped. So it's brie cheese, and then there's a raspberry filling in it, and then it's wrapped in a puff pastry. Can you baked. break it open, or is that not? I can. A thing it's, to do? It, it won't be as melty as it should because it's not if you hot serve right it now. Warm, but it'll, but it'll, it'll oh, ooze. Wow. Yeah, See, it'll ooze out. Oh, it looks like yeah, a donut really. almost. Like that's just like a nice. You could just set that whole thing on your plate, Chris. <laughs> just grab it. Grab it and go. Wow. Yeah. So let's expand to the the big show here. I love. I think that looks great. That's more like my style for yep. a budget budget board. But yep. Paula, talk a little bit about what takes this up another notch as you're still uh, perfecting your your table here. Um, the more items, the different cheeses, um, all the different options. Nuts, dried fruits are very popular right now. Um, just the different types of cheeses. And then we've got some different mustards. Honey goes well on a lot of different cheeses. Um, and the crackers and the prosciutto wrapped. Um, prosciutto. Cheese. Yes. Prosciutto. So you don't have to know how to pronounce all of the different cheeses, no. correct? No. Okay. No, absolutely. And so when you're going in this direction, what would be your advice to people if you're uh, trying to shop to make this yourself? Right. Good, um, it, really, it really depends on your budget and what you like. And um, not everybody likes all the different types of cheeses. So um, it's best if you think of things that you like, but also what other people would like mm -hmm. as well. Like I am not... Um, a blue cheese fan, but a lot of people like it, so I would include it on on a board that I was doing. Okay, I love it. Mm -hmm. And you still have, you have the fruit. You're still putting mm -hmm. nuts on here yep. as well. Uh, I think even though you said Tara more kid friendly there, mm -hmm. there's definitely things that the kids would still like here. Oh, definitely. Yep. So it's kind of a little yep. something for everyone. Mm -hmm. uh, so you would look like you were having a party at President Bruschani's house. Exactly. If you had this. Yep. Plus at your place. Mm -hmm. and can, you, can you say that a couple more times for us? The, the charcuterie board. Charcuterie <laughs> board. It does seem very fancy. Uh, a great option. Awesome. I love it. NDSU mm -hmm. Dining and Catering in uh, giving us some great ideas for our Super Bowl party <laughs> this weekend. And like Chris said right away, we're a little bit uh, off our rockers today, but we're going to mm -hmm. keep going with the food uh, coming up next. Uh, we're going to welcome, move this table out uh, and move another table. No more charcuterie? Food in. Uh, what? Uh, we'll leave it here. Something. We'll okay. leave it here for you. Hey, Buffalo Wings and Rings are in next.